Kostya, men and lady. As a human being, of course, and by doing ballroom dancing, he will be the same, but it's very important. We have one dance where we have a different position, and that is tango, but you will find out all the information for tango in the video tango. Now, we talk about foxtrot. Of course, position is very important. For example, if I want to show you another sport, like, uh, let's say, golf, if I want to give you the image of golf, I will get in this position, put my arm in this way, and show you what I'm doing. So you can figure out directly, straight away, what I'm talking about. So every time we talk about ballroom dancing, we need to give the correct image. And the correct image for the man is vertical posture, left arms, completely on the top of the left elbow. Right arms on the back of the lady. Very important, the elbow should not stay higher than the shoulder or too low. We must create a straight line, but with a comfortable way to look at, not a comfortable way to feel like, but to be see in a comfortable way. Now, which in? Our favorite man, in this case, is the only one. <laughs> now, vertical posture. How do we build the vertical posture? We build the vertical posture. If you relax here, get, get in a bad position, please. Soft, soft, relax. So now, a secret to build a good position is, follow what I say. If we do like stretching the back and we bend down, Please go, 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 yes. Now, by doing this exercise, we will pull up the center, then the rib cage, then we will fix the shoulder, then we pull up the head. Wow. Very good. But now it's not finished. We have to build up our arms. So another secret here is, if we measure our elbow pulling out possible by putting the hands in the center of your rib cage here, you have the correct measure for the elbow. Now, if you can see from the front, and we will show you to the back, you will see the elbow, they're not more up than the shoulder, they are not too low, they are well stretched in the correct measure because in the front we have the correct measure through the hands. For example, if a man tries to get in position and he pulling much too much the shoulder, this, from this angle, it will look wrong because the elbow, they are behind the shoulder. This is not correct. So hands give you the correct measure. Once you did this, you just need to make space for your partner, but still remember, right hand must be aware of your center. Right hand communicate through your center all the time. You cannot try to have a bigger position in the right hand by pulling the head here. Now, Shin, you feel big, ne? But look, the shape is not correct, we cannot guess which kind of dancing you're doing because this is not the correct shape. So we need to give directly the correct information what we are doing from the front to the side to the back. You see, beautiful angle of elbow, beautiful neckline, Hand, I must see the hand on top. If the hand is here, now maybe we can guess, maybe it can be a tango, or maybe it can be a practice old, but not a dancing competition old. We must see the difference here very, very much. Thank you. Lady, <laughs> big job, very difficult. Why is difficult? Because we need to create a different curve 
from a normal standing position. Of course, the building of the spine, we have already a kind of curve here, especially the leg. You see this area here, we already have a curve. But when we're dancing, we have to build, first of all, a vertical line. And we can do the same exercise at the men. We go down, we pull in the center, we pull in the rib cage, we fix the shoulder here, fix, not fix. Get in line, but still free, freedom. After we've done this, uh, we have to, to put uh, our center more toward the front part of the foot. Center I call where I have my belly button. Belly button, balance the belly button on top of the front part of the foot, okay? Now from here, we will feel kind of nearly getting off balance. So therefore, we will balance by having the weight of the head on top of the heel. Now, from this position, we can still use our feet up and down, but if you can see, we have a curve, forward curve. It's nothing to do with getting back weight, back a curve. Here, everything is off balance. So the sooner I move in this direction, the sooner we will pull the partner because we have all the body, all the body weight of balance. Of balance mean all the weight is directly on the heel part. That is no good. We need to divide the weight of the full body between all the foot, of the measure of the foot. So the division it will be this part of the body, this one, on the front part and this part on the heel. So we can build an imaginary vertical line, imaginary, we cannot dance vertical because it's not the correct position. If I do like this and I ask you, guess what I'm doing? You cannot guess because it's not the correct position. So I need really to create the curve forward to have my position as a ballroom dancer having the weight balance, plus now, again, I have to put my arms forward. Why forward? Because we have our partner forward. We have to dance with the partner. Therefore, we must feel everything he will do through the contact of the hands. The elbow, it will be always in front of our body, never pulling back must be in front. Weight of the hand, it should feel on top of the feet. Yoko, we will show them again. No, this way, so they can see also the head. Now, the center go to the foot, the head go to the heel, slightly. The arms will match to the partner, okay? And now we did create the curve we want to see in the ballroom dancing. If Yoko go far too much with the head, she start to pull in me, you see, now we will go off balance. So she needed to counterbalance herself to be allowed to move herself on balance. Now, should we try to do this together, Shin? But remember, we must build the position together. So the first connection we have is touching the hand. Feeling, mm -hmm. okay, we are good. And then we are going in the direction, <clears throat> in the direction. So direction is, I will measure his center. Of course, I will not go to his center. I go slightly to the right side of his center. Why? Because every time we dance a close position, I need to have his right leg in the middle of my two legs. So if I go too much to the center, it's not good because we will have 
two legs touching each other, and that is not correct. So I go slightly to the right of the center. Center always measured by the belly button. With which part of my body? I will go to his body, always the perfect measure will be my belly button, okay. If I go with the belly button, it's far too square. So I need to go slightly with the right side of the belly button, okay? So this is the measure. Connection, touching, feeling each other, direction from belly button to belly button, slightly both to the right. So I go slightly to the right and slightly to on my right. Once we touch each other, it's not finished. We need to create a slightly rotation of the left. This side also. Slightly rotation to the left to build up much more bigger space to each other. Yoko, together. So touching the hand, take the measure where you have to go. Get the connection also from the right arms to the left. Make a left rotation. Turn around, please, to show from every side. So yes, great. Okay, yes, very good. So I hope we were very clear, but I'm sure we were because it was a very defined demonstration and of course, our couple here did a very good demonstration to you. Now we will continue later with some more.